friends welcome to foods and flavors this is shilpi today let's make very easy very delicious and one of my family favorite pizza paratha we are going to make this pizza paratha in three steps first we are going to knead the dough and roll it and then we are going to stuff it with cheese and veggie mixture and then cook it sounds easy isn't it so let me show you how to make this yummy delicious pizza paratha here is the ingredient list you can also see it with the detailed recipe and tips and tricks in my blog www.foodsandflavorsbyshilpi.com to make pizza paratha first we will need the dough for this here i have 2 cups of whole wheat flour to this i'll add half teaspoon of salt and now i'll add little water at a time and knead a soft and smooth dough here i have used almost 1 cup of water to knead the dough now i'll take some oil in my hands and smoothen the dough a little bit more i'll cover the dough and keep it aside and let it rest for 15 to 20 minutes and now let's make mixture for stuffing for this here i have some grated mozzarella cheese which is at room temperature to this i'll add some chopped bell peppers chopped onions some corns which are microwaved for 20 seconds some chopped olives salt and some italian seasoning and now i'll mix everything stuffing is ready i'll keep it aside and now let's make parathas for this i'll take some dough which we prepared earlier and roll it and dip it in dry flour a gently roll it to a big circle this is the thickness we are looking for now i'll take some pizza sauce and apply it all over the rolled chapati and now i'll put some stuffing only on the half of the rolled chapati and spread it evenly leaving the sides and now i'll cover the stuffing with the other half of the chapati like this and stick it properly with my hands and i'll take a fork and press the ends gently like this to seal it properly this paratha is ready for frying i'll keep it aside Here I'll also show you some other ways of making pizza parathas. In this case, I'm using pesto sauce as a base. Add some cheese stuffing at the center. And try to spread it in a square shape. And now I'll fold it like this. to give it a square shape I'll press it gently with my hands so that everything sticks together This one is also ready for frying I'll keep it aside And let's make one more For this I'll roll two chapatis where one chapati is slightly bigger than other I'll take big size chapati and add some stuffing. And spread it evenly leaving the sides. I'll put the smaller chapati on the top of the stuffing and stick it little bit. And gently fold the chapati like this. And now I'll take a fork and gently press the chapati at the rim. 
This paratha is also ready. I'll keep this also aside. Now let's switch to the stove and fry these parathas. I'll put the paratha on the medium hot pan and cook till it get brown spots from down. Turn it over and apply some oil and gently press it. Turn it over again and apply some oil on other side too. Cook and press paratha gently, especially towards the ends to make sure it is fully cooked. Paratha looks ready to me. I'll take it out. In the same way, I'll cook other parathas too. You can serve these delicious cheesy parathas with ketchup or your favorite dip. Do try this easy and very cheesy delicious pizza paratha at home. I'm sure you're going to love it. For more quick and easy recipes, you can visit my blog www.foodsandflavorsbyshilpi.com or you can also visit my channel and don't forget to subscribe it. Thanks for watching today's video. See you next time. Till then, happy cooking.